Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I am coming at you with a empties video as one of the empties falls out of that. I've been collecting these empties for a couple of months now. Sorry it takes so long to collect empties, but it does take a little bit to get through some products. So let's get started. Oh, and these are one of my favorite videos to watch, so I hope you enjoy too. But if you don't, don't leave a negative comment. Just exit out right there right there come on okay so the first empty i have is the aussie three minute miracle moist i really love this it is a deep conditioner they only leave on for three minutes i absolutely love it this is my second time purchasing it and i do plan on purchasing it again in the future but there are definitely some other deep moisturized deep conditioners deep moisturizer that i want to try first and it smells amazing guys you just you need to try it Next, I have the Nexus Salon Care Humectris Ultimate Moisturizing Conditioner. This was a gift from my future mother-in-law, and it was the best conditioner that I've ever used on my hair. I love it. Too bad it's like $30. But I will repurchase it eventually when I have the extra money, because it, it was really good on my hair. Sippy. This is a blueberry pomegranate tea infused water and it is amazing and you should try it. <laughs> I know that was not me trying to copy um, Graveyard Girl. It just kind of slipped because I was thinking of Graveyard Girl not too long ago. So to any Graveyard Girl fans, I'm sorry if I offended you but that was not the goal. Alrighty. The next empty I have is the Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious Shaving Cream and Raspberry Mist. It's with moisturizing aloe and it's in a rust proof can. These last forever and a day. Um, and I have backups upon backups because it is one of my favorites and they don't test on animals for those who are looking for a shaving cream who company that doesn't test on animals. And they weren't kidding you when they said it smelled like raspberry. Oh, why do I have the hiccups? <sighs> Hopefully that will help. Anyway, um, it's just really good. It always makes my legs feel really soft afterward. I haven't gotten really any cuts since I started using this. It's a very easy you know, mechanism, see like what's left is all soupy, that's how you know it's done, as if it's coming out soupy, even if you shake it a million times, but it's a really good shaving cream and I would recommend it to anyone. This size, the 8 ounce size, you can get at Walmart, they have twin packs, um, but you can get a slightly smaller size, it's about that big, at the dollar store and they'll still last you forever. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, next thing I have is this Soft Silk Body Butter Heavenly Vanilla Body Hydrating Wash. <sighs> that was a mouthful. I used this during the winter time. That's, that's how long I've been collecting empties, guys. This was finished in like December. Actually, probably more like January, but either way. Um, and it smells just like vanilla. And the scent is very strong. And it'll last on you for a couple of hours. I really like it. It is very hydrating. My skin always felt so soft and luxurious after I used it. I already have backups of this for next winter. And I can't wait. That's the thing. I... With, when it comes to soaps, and I like to change the scent with the season. So even if the soap's not finished, I'll still change it. Does that make sense? So like, I'm still on a soap from last year that's a mango scent, but because I got it at the dead end of summer, I switched to a more fall scent, and then after that I went to the vanilla scent. Um, no more fall scent. I just went straight to the vanilla. Sorry guys. I'm lying to you. Not on purpose. 
Um, so I'm still using that from last year. And then I have like a cucumber one I still need to, I have backups upon backups of soap. I'll be prepared for like years. <laughs> All right. Next thing I used, I actually got at the dollar store. It is the Salon Selective 3 Minute Hair Therapy Intense Conditioning Treatment Argon Oil from Morocco. And if I remember correctly, I liked the smell of this. Oh yeah, the smell of this is amazing. I literally used every last drop. And you can still smell it. And it smells amazing. And it works great. And it's only a dollar compared to... Aussie, which is more like three dollars. This is only a dollar, so if you're on a budget, either one will work, but this one's even more budget friendly than this one. But they both work amazingly, and I would repurchase this over and over and over again in my stomach. Is I'm sorry that you had to see that. Anyway, and oh, another cruelty free item for those looking. Is Aussie cruelty free? I'm not seeing anything that says it, so I'll... And same with soft soap, nothing that says it. And same with the Nexus. Oh, no. Nexus doesn't test on animals either. So this is a good option for you guys too. Alrighty. Next, I have another deep conditioner. Can you tell I go through conditioners? Crazily, I go through more conditioners than I do shampoo. This is the Organics Renewing Moroccan Argon Oil um, Deep Conditioner. Oh, the smell of this one is so good. The only amount I have left is that little tiny itty bit, and that's just, it's not enough, so it's, it's empty. Um, and... This one doesn't test on animals either. So I got a bunch of good options for you guys. I didn't even realize like most of these products don't test on animals. A plus for me. Okay. Next is another dollar store find. This is the Natural Wife Sensitive Whitening Chloride Toothpaste Extreme. And it is just a dupe for the Sensodyne toothpaste and I find that it worked just as well but a whole hell of a lot cheaper. I really enjoy it. As you can see, I've used every single bit because um, I want to get my money's worth. And I think it just has a mint smell. Yep, it's just a mint smell. It comes out pink and it's really, really nice. I haven't used it for the past couple months. I've been trying to use up a different toothpaste I have, which is just whitening. It's not uh, for sensitive teeth or anything, and I have noticed a difference. Okay, next, I have a deodorant. This is the Dove Advanced Care Nutrient Moisture Rebalance 48-Hour Antiperspirant Deodorant, and this one, oh, it has so little, and it just started to hurt using it. I don't know, okay. But it smells amazing, like, I cannot smell my armpit on this and it's gone. So that's saying something. Um, trying I don't remember how much it was. I think tops it was like eight dollars. Tops, but I think it was more like four. So I remember getting this when I needed deodorant really bad, but I only had like a couple bucks. So there's that. And it smells really good. They have other scents too, like I know upstairs I have um a cucumber scent and I know in my bag I have like I think like a grapefruit scent so they have different scents for every single person and I have one face product and then I have one concealer one brow gel and then a bunch of mascara type products so my face product is the clean and clear continuous control acne cleanser 10% benzyl peroxide acne medication dietly formula keeps fighting breakouts long after you wash. <sighs> this was a recommendation from Brianne Barbie. I will leave her channel down below. And oh my god, it is amazing. Oh, it doesn't smell all that great, but I mean, did you really expect it to? This is for us girls who wear salicylic acid. It just does not work for you. 
benzoyl peroxide is where it's at. And when it says that it's continuously working, it's true. Like, I can feel it working all day. And, like, when you shower and you use it, or even if you use it when you don't shower, but I just recommend using it in the shower because, you know, you're already in the water, so why not? Um, you can feel the tingling, and it's so cool. Like, you need to try it. That's all I'm saying. And I already have, like, three or four backups of that. Alrighty. I have the Rimmel London Match Perfection Skin, Don Skin Tone Adapting Concealer in the shade 125 Fair. This is a wonderful concealer. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the applicator, so you have to squeeze, and as you can see, I'm squeezing and nothing's coming out. Um, and it makes a mess of the cap, but other than that, it is a really, really good concealer. Okay, now for the brow gel. I have the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel, and I just, it's my favorite brow gel, as you can see. Like, it's, it's all dried up. Like, nothing's coming off, and my foundation kind of colored it. So it just, it needed to go. But it is a great brow gel and I recommend it to anybody looking for a brow gel. Um, it has a nice small wand, um, so you can really like get in there without messing up your eyebrows. And it's just, it's good. Now I got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of mascaras for you. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, a few videos you'll see, uh, it's going to be from when you were that far away. And I'm sorry, but I just realized how far away you are. And I don't like how far away you are. So I bring you in closer. So the first thing I have is this Hard Candy 1000 Lashes Fiberized Lash Weave Primer. And looking at the packaging, you would think this part is soft, but like, like it's hard. It's, it's not squeezy. And that's just what the brush looks like. And... You can see the fibers. I actually really need, really re need to repurchase this because it was a really good primer, but um, it just kind of dried out, and I don't know. It's a good one though. I will, I will definitely repurchase it when I'm in the mood to repurchase it. Next, I have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher by Lash Blast, but I have it in the shade Brown. I didn't use it all too often so it was opened and then it dried out because I realized it was brown and like I like that the brush is flexible sort of ish um that's just what the brush looks like barely anything's coming off of it so I'm gonna try it again but I'm actually gonna buy in black because this is the second time I've done this Do any of you guys like it? Let me know. I know uh, some other YouTubers like it, so let me know if you like it. Next is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. This is what the brush looks like. And it's honestly just a really, really good mascara. It separated my lashes so wonderfully, and it's so cheap. I think it's like five bucks, if that definitely a repurchaser. Alrighty, next mascara is the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal, and this is the tube that worked wonders for me. I did repurchase it, but I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be as good as this first tube that I bought. Um, I really enjoyed it though, so I'm hoping that maybe I just got a dud tube, and if I repurchase it again, that it'll be good, but I don't really want to spend money again. I don't know. What should I do, guys? What should I do? Next one is the NYC Sky Length Sky Rise Lengthening Mascara, and that's just what the brush looks like. It has a natural bristle brush and not the um, plastic brushes that I really like. But this is also a really good mascara. It's only like two bucks. And it's just really good, especially for natural days when all you're doing is 
maybe some BB cream and some mascara. It really lengthens your lashes and it's just, it's really good. I wish I was kind of wearing it now right now, but I'm wearing the uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Next is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom, which I absolutely love this mascara, guys. I wish it didn't dry out. That's just what the brush looks like. It's pretty much kind of like a classic um, Lash Blast Volume, uh, Lash Blast Brush, except it doesn't have the flat top which I like this brush better anyway. With the formulation along with the brush, it makes your lashes feel soft literally all day long. And it's just awesome. And I recommend it to everyone. And the packaging is just really cute. Okay, two more and then we are done. First one is the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes from Maybelline. This one dried out really quick. I used it once, didn't use it for a while, used it again and it was dried out. And that kind of makes me very upset. Um, but that's just the packaging. Maybe I'll get it again, maybe I won't. The fact that it dried out so quickly kind of pisses me off. And then last, but not least, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara that I absolutely love. I got this pretty much right when it got out and the brush is really similar to the butterfly it's just a little bit shorter so you can really just get in there and it's just it's such a good mascara and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one well do you have any empties just like mine if so tell me what they are or put a video response like subscribe if you enjoy my videos and my empties um, tell me if you have any empties that are the same, and I'll see you next time. Bye!